After going through these critical functions of academic leadership, let us enact a demonstration between a school leader and a teacher so that the concept is clear to you. Dr. Sunita will play the role of the school leader and I would play the role of a teacher. Charu, you are a new inductee in our school. How has been your experience so far in teaching grades 4 and 5 students? I am excited to be in this school ma'am, but my first impression is that most of the children seem to learn and understand the concepts quite well. I have been observing your classroom processes for a few days now. Could you please share what have been your experiences and challenges in interacting with children? Yes ma'am. You have been observing my classroom processes. I have around 45 students in grade 4 and around 32 students in grade 5. There are a few children who seem to face difficulty in being attentive and I find them disinterested in classroom processes. Though I have been using multiple methods such as role play, drama and taking the students out for nature walks, still there are a few children who are not very involved. When I talked to these students informally, I discovered two issues. One, these students have a distinct dialect being spoken in their home. And two, these students also talked of how in their home they had access to mobile phones and they played games on it. So I see as the two critical issues that you have been facing in the linguistic diversity of children and inability to use resources beyond the available teaching learning aids. Have you thought about these two issues? Can you think of some solutions to the problems that you have raised? Yes, ma'am, you are very correct. The two issues that I am facing is linguistic diversity of children and the inability of using resources beyond the normal conventional teaching learning aids. I have thought of using new strategies. I need to interact with the community members who speak this distinct dialect and would perhaps request if some community member can be a co-teacher with me for the few classes. I am also thinking of creating ICT based opportunities for students using smartphone and computer lab so that I can expand their horizon to use web based resources. I am very happy you seem to come up with interesting solutions. Let me add a few more. You can also look at Swam Prabha channels for school students like Kishore Manch, channel number 31 and Gyanwani at radio for audio programs for our children. Do let me know Charu if you need any support for me for ensuring that all the children of grade 4 and 5 learn. Yes ma'am. I was thinking if you can connect me with my colleague of the neighboring school. She seems to be very innovative and creates interesting learning aids for children. I would learn a lot from her. Thank you Charu. It was interesting to have a discussion with you. Let us now meet in next session to take our discussion further. In this demonstration, we observed how the school head as an academic leader provided academic support to the teacher. The school leader skillfully asks questions from the teacher instead of providing ready-made answers. These questions encourage the teacher to problem solve and come up with innovative solutions by herself. Here the school leader also adds a few suggestions from her experience. But you would observe that during the majority of the conversation, the school leader motivates the teacher to begin a process of independent and critical thinking so that she retains the ownership of her own professional development. Thus, academic leadership includes providing support, coaching and mentoring teachers and ensuring that learning processes are advancing at a higher level for all the students.